Hi everybody, my name is Pulkit Chavda. In this video, we'll be discussing the next and the last problem of the ongoing series, which is G, uh, special special permutation. And the contest that we are discussing is a code forces round six forty, as you can see here. So let's read the problem out first. The problem starts with defining what a permutation of length n is. It says that a permutation of length n is an array p p1, p2, up to, up to pn, which contains every integer from 1 to n inclusive, and moreover, each number appears exactly once. For example, 3, 1, 4, 2, 5 is a permutation of length 5. Okay, I hope it is clear. For a given, now for a given number n, which is greater than or equal to 2, we have to find a permutation p, which is of course of length n, uh, in which absolute difference of any two neighboring elements is between 2 and 4. Formally, find such permutation p of length n such that p of i minus p of i plus 1's absolute value is greater than or equal to 2 and less than or equal to 4 for each i from 1 to n minus 1. Okay, so we have to just find and print any such permutation, or if it does not exist, we have to print minus 1. Uh, we'll be given several test cases. The number of test cases in a single file can be up to 100, and for each test case, will be given uh, an integer n which represents the size of the permutation that we are required to print and n can be from 2 to 1000. So this point onwards I'll be discussing the solution and maybe uh, a few test cases in, in, in this sample. So you can pause the video, think the solution for yourself if you want to. It is just basically pattern finding. You have to find uh, by hit and trial maybe. I don't know if there's some other uh, proper algorithmic way to do that. Uh, you can pause the video and think it around if you want to. I'll be just discussing the solution now. So uh, in the sample, if we see, uh, you can see that the answer is minus one for two, and uh, out of all the others, it is possible to determine such permutation. Uh, we may try to find it for some smaller value of one. For example, we can see for two, it is already sa saying that it is not possible. Let's say uh, let's try for three. Uh, for 3, we want a permutation of length 3, it can be 1, 2, 3, 1, 3, 2, 2, 1, 3, 3, 1, 2, and uh, 2, 3, 1, and 3, 2, 1. In each of the permutations, you can see that it is not valid because we know that the maximum difference is uh, 2 and uh, minimum difference is 1, of course. In this case, it has a difference of 1, in this case, difference 1, difference 1, difference 1, difference 1, and in this case, this pair has a difference 1. So it is not possible. For the case of 4, we can see that it is possible, right? Uh, so if you basically try and find some uh, pattern that will lead to satisfying the constraint that is given here, you may come up with several ones actually uh, the one I came up with while I was solving the problem was actually different than what is given in the tutorial and I talked to one to a friend he found out a different method that was uh, you know uh, different from the one I used and from the one that is in the tutorial so I'll be just discussing one of them I'll be actually discussing the one that is in the tutorial if you wanna uh, see some other method you can look at the summation that i made it consists of the method that i used while solving it so the tutorial ones is uh, actually more simpler so i'll be just discussing that one so what it says is what we can do to basically uh, you know satisfy the conditions let's print the odd numbers first and then print in, uh, even numbers in increasing order let's say we print 5 4 3 I'm not, I'm sorry, not 5, 4, 3, F, uh, 4 would be an even number. Let's say our value of n is 6, n equal to 6, for example. So what we can do is we can say 5, 3, 1, and if we see the even numbers, we'll see that they are 2, 4, 6. Now while we are printing the odd numbers, it is all right that the difference, we know that the difference between two consecutive numbers, uh, two consecutive odd numbers is going to be 2, so it's fine. And while we are printing the even numbers, then also it is fine because the difference is going to be 2 each. But the problem will be when we'll be jumping from e odd to even. In this case, when we'll be jumping from 1 to 2. It will create a problem because uh, we know that the difference between 2 and 1 is uh, 1. To take care of that, what can one possibly do is just swap the first two even numbers that we need to print. Just make them 4 and 2 instead of basically 2 and 4. In this case, we can see 
the difference while jumping from even from odd to even is going to be three which is fine and then it is going to be two uh, four to two then it is going to be four two to six and six onwards uh, okay in this case the nsb and value is six but let's say it was eight so we would have printed seven and after six we would have printed eight now in this case we know uh, when we'll be printing the more even numbers let's say in, in the case when the value of n is even bigger uh, it is not going to be a problem because we are just making a jump of two each time right so the only problem that we would have encountered if we printed uh, you know uh, odd first and decreasing and then even increasing was here only uh, we, we have took care of that by just swapping two and four right so this is one of the solutions that can be uh, implemented Mm, uh, we can have a look at the implementation also. Uh, let's try and implement this. Yeah, let me just copy the test cases. Now we have seen that. Let's just first take the input and n c in n, right? Now we know that if the value of n is less than 4 that is if it's 2 and 3 we just uh, saw previously that it is not possible in that case c out minus 1 and then backslash n else we just saw that if we use the way that i used uh, while explaining the test cases uh, that are just true it will be possible to uh, make a permutation for any value of n that is greater than or equal to 4 right so what we'll be doing is we'll be printing the uh, odd numbers that are less than or equal to n in decreasing order then we'll print 4 4 then we'll print 2 then we'll print the increasing uh, then we'll print the even numbers 6 onwards in increasing order right that's what we want we will just implement it simply uh, as in an as simple manner that we can so what we need to do is we want to find first we want to find the largest even number right uh, sorry the largest odd number let's say int odd equals to n now if n is uh if if basically uh n is odd then the largest odd number will be n itself if not it will be n minus one right the largest odd number which is less than or equal to n basically uh yeah so while odd is greater than or equal to one what i'll do is just print odd and then a space and i will be doing odd minus equal to two right i hope this is self-explanatory i'm just taking the largest number uh, largest odd number that is less than or equal to n if n itself is odd it is going to be n only else it is going to be n minus one you may not be familiar with this but it actually works it is an alternative for uh, if else it will be n if it is if this condition is true if it's false it will be n minus one okay so we have just printed the odd ones now i'll say print 4 and then 2 then again a space now i will say the current even number will be 6 right now while the even number is less than or equal to n i will need to print all of them right so i will say c out even then a space then uh, i will say even plus equal to 2 right now after having done it i will just say print n enter an enter key so let's try and run it for the cases that we had mm -hmm. okay i have just missed an angular bracket here yeah uh, it runs you can see it's nine seven five three you can keep on noting the differences this is two 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 uh, nine seven 5, 3, 1 and then 4, 2, then 6, 8, 10. We have covered all the numbers. We have covered all the odd numbers between 1 and 10 uh, and all the even numbers between 1 and 10 and they are just coming ones. So it is fine. You can also have a look for yourself if you want to. Uh, I, I'll just try and submit it a bit. It gives the accepted work date. It means that it was correct. So the, num the problem is G. Paste it and submit. okay it has been accepted yeah so this was it guys i hope uh, the code itself is self-explanatory and uh, it, it is correct also i explained why uh, if, it, if there is anything still unclear you can you may comment down below i will try to help you 
सो दिस वॉज इट फॉर दिस वीडियो का आई विल सी यू गाइज इन द नेक्स्ट वन थैंक यू